Hey, what's up guys? This is Rebecca with Songfire Gaming, and welcome to Let's Play Star Stable Online. Um, so, today we are continuing with the main quest line, which is going to be here with Thomas Morland. What in the world? A masked rider just came by and stole the original deed. Right after him. He's over there by the gate. Hurry, hurry, Lydia, catch him! So this, um, the deed they're talking about, in case you missed that episode, was um, the ownership papers for Morland Stable's land. Um, because without it, Mr. Kemble from GED can use that to claim ownership of the land and destroy the stable which is probably why this person just stole it. So, let's ride after and get that paper back. Come on. Oh goodness, sorry it's so laggy. Ha! Got it. So pretty much, I guess that's all we have to do. We don't have to click it. I tried to click something, but I guess we didn't even have to do that. Um, because it didn't take until I actually ran him over. Alright, let's take this back to Thomas. Well done. I'll try to hide the papers better this time, sorry. There was something strange about that horse. Like what? Ghost-like, you say? Um, I can't really- I really can't say. It all happened so fast. I'm sure it was just a regular horse with an, an unusually nasty owner. That's a possibility. I need you to visit the town hall for me, okay? These copies of the deed should be there if something should happen to the original. There must never again be the slightest doubt that I own this land. So listen up and I'll tell you how to get there. Follow the old Silverglade Road north, past the construction site. Don't be afraid of the bulldozers, they won't harm you. That's a little bit iffy. <laughs> if Mr. Kimball decides he's uh, gonna have a, a grudge, but okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Follow the road north and you will find the village just north of the big castle. Here are the documents. Hold on to them tightly now. Alright. Uh, past the construction site, which is this way. Hopefully once we get a little bit away from the stable, um, we'll be okay. It'll be less laggy. Um, I think everybody's just kind of hanging around because of um, the update. Because Linda's in Moreland. Um, so everybody's here to check out the update. Um, so, probably I'll do most of the side quests off camera just to keep it, you know, keep us from getting too overdone. Um, but all of the main story quests will be on camera, and I guess the bigger side quests, like, I don't know, like maybe unlocking races or something. Um, So I think moving forward, that's how that's going to work. Ooh. Sharp turn, sharp turn.
It would help if you slowed down what I told you to slow down, but, you know. Oh, come on! Interact! And what have we here, young lady? A deed from Mr. Moreland? I see, I'll file these away safely. Alright, and that put me at level 6. Woohoo! Okay, so before I continue, um, this is Silverglade Village. Silverglade Village is where you first encounter a vet, which is this person over here. Um, it's also where you can create a club for 50 star points, and um, it has a town hall, which is a meeting place for your club, um, and it's basically where the main storyline that um, for the Soul Riders continues from. So I believe you have to be a Star Rider in order to access this area. Let's go over and talk to Harold. Um, Lydia, I heard that it was you who saved Morland from that terrible Mr. Kendall. Well done. I was just going to start making pizza cupcakes when I found out uh, when I found that I was out of flour. Would you please go get some for me? You should be able to get it from Barney at the silo. Okay, so I believe this road will take me the correct direction. Uh, flour, you say? I don't have any flour, but I do have lots of grain. Will that do? Uh, maybe? Here you are. If you take this to Will over at the mill, you can grind it into flour. By the way, I heard that Mr. Kendall has started drilling for oil over at the Everwood Field. That's too bad. Okay, speak to Will at the mill. Speak to Will at the mill. Where's the mill? Um, oh. There's a, wind, a windmill over there. Let's go. I'm going to take a shortcut since I can see where it's at. Okay, so we have two things we can do here. Ground and ready, which I think is the next part of this storyline. And then try the windmill race. Let's do the windmill race, and then we'll come back and do the ground and ready. Hello, Lydia. You know what? I feel that you love to compete with Rainbow Frost, am I right? I knew it. A long time ago, there used to be a racetrack around the windmill here. The track is still there, even if it's hard to see. Do you think you can beat the old master riders on this track? You think you can? You certainly are confident, that's a good thing. But this is a tough track, so don't take a victory for granted. Get ready, and I will time you. Good luck! Alright. I feel like that should give some horse experience, not just rider experience. Like, a little bit for both would be really cool. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, my mouse went all uh, kind of sideways like that. Um, my cat decided she wanted on top of my bookshelf and my hand was in the way. I know, silly cat owner. 
Okay. Great writing, Lydia. It's certainly a joy to watch a master writer like you. I am not a master writer, I'm only level 6. If you want to try again, just let me know. See you. Okay, so I'll do the actual daily training windmill race. Here's some fine flour. Take it back to that store. So get me a top. Nice top. Riding run, jumping six one. Okay. I mean, I'll stick it in my wardrobe, but you know. I actually like the outfit I've got going so far. Although I'm thinking about changing the saddle pad out for the purple one. Um. I just have to be uh, level 9 for that purple saddle pad, which I didn't have to be for the white one, but I think the purple one will provide some nice contrast, especially when uh, Rainbow Frost is in his wild coat. You have my flower? Perfect! These will be some fine pizza cupcakes. Okay, and then we will wait for that to complete. Hey, what's up guys? Um, so, you might have noticed that the video for the main storyline was a little bit short. So, because of that, I decided I would show you guys how to unlock Steve's race um, in the game, which um, it takes a, a few quests to get it unlocked. So let's start with Felix. Steve asked me to lend him my mouse traps. Since his cat has disappeared, he and his horses have had some kind of mouse problem. I don't have time to take them there myself, so could you do that for me, please? Here are the mouse traps. Steve lives at the farm just southeast of Silverglade Village. It shouldn't take too much to get this unlocked. Great, my mouse traps. Thanks. By the way, did you hear that my cat ran away? If you see him around, bring him back to me if you can. There's a reward in it for you if you find him. Um, I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be a future quest. I hope that's something we get to do. It seems like a, it seems like it would make for a really good short side quest. Find the cat hanging around somewhere at the castle or something, or in the village. Okay. The cat substitute. Okay, buddy, I've got the mouse traps, but as you can see, I'm very busy and can't put them out myself right now. Maybe you could help me, please? Before the mice eat up the entire farm, take these and spread them out in different places. Okay. Let's see. Spark boy. More Sparkle Boy. Another sparkly spot. I feel like these are just... I don't think it's normal to set out mouse traps in the middle of, like, just in the middle of the way. Like, I'm sorry, I just, I don't think that's the normal thing to do with them. I used to live in a place that, um, well, it wasn't a very good apartment complex to begin with, but they were doing construction right next to it um, to put in a new line, um, a new train line, and their construction disturbed the mice that were living in that little, not really an alleyway, um, just, you know, full of gravel and weeds and whatever, so... Their construction disturbed them, and they went into the apartments. And so we ended up um, having to get mouse traps, um, of which the snap traps are, believe it or not, the most humane. I've now come to discover because the other options are glue traps and poison, and poison is slow, and glue traps can get really messy. 
Um, sadly, the snap traps are the most humane option, but you set them next to like walls and places where you know they they run by, not just out in the middle of the floor where people can step on them. <laughs> Nicely done, girl. I don't understand where the mice are coming from. During the, the night, I can hear strange sounds from underground. I wonder if GED are drilling the island of Jorvik from the inside out. Ugh, come on now. Now we just need something to use as bait. Okay. Hmm. My friend at the mill, Will the Millman, has plenty of cheese in storage. Maybe you can ask him for some old cheese that we can use as bait. He lives near the windmill north of here. You can't miss it. And then since we're going anyway. You lucky you weren't here this winter. That much I'll tell you. Never seen such a winter. I thought I was in Siberia. It was so, it was so cold. I felt sorry for the birds. How are they supposed to find food? And now these mice seem to have eaten all the seeds I, I had left in the store. If there's someone who has a good quantity of seed, it's Barney over at the silo. Could you go over there and ask him for some? Okay, so... Uh, I think, I think Barney at the silo is closer and then we could just swing by Will the Mill Man afterward. Sorry, I'm kind of on Barney's head there. <laughs> Seeds for the birds? They had a rough winter, eh? Well, we all did, didn't we? I said to the wife, but if I didn't know better, I'd say there was some gruesome dark power reigned over the island last winter. But maybe I'm just getting old. Older than last year, anyway. Okay, so looks like we'll have to come back for the feed. Um, if you've ever seen that time clock in game, that's basically what it means, come back later. <laughs> like the next day. Um, and if you want to, you can stay the night at a stable to pass the time, so you don't have to wait a whole 24 hours, um, or at least, you know, wait until the server resets. But that costs star coins to do, so, I mean, it's not really worth it unless you have a lot of uh, timed quests built up. Ha <laughs> ha Steve has problems with mice at his farm? I see. Well, I don't want to hurt the cute little animals. Let me think about what we can do to solve this. Give me a second and talk to me again in a while. Here I have some cheese. My smelliest cheese ever. This'll do the trick, but Steve will never understand why. You see, the cheese stinks so bad that the mice will flee the farm. This way we can make sure both Steve and the mice are happy. Good solution, eh? So here you are, take this to the farm. Hey, if you ever need cheese again, feel free to come here even if I'm not here. My cheese is your cheese. I actually like that solution. It's a really creative solution to what for a farmer is actually kind of a serious problem. Um, you need to make sure your animals are going to be fed, and if the mice are eating all your feed, you can't do that. But, you know, the mice need to eat too, so you kind of feel bad killing them for doing something that they're kind of made to do. So I kind of like the stinky cheese plan just because it chased away. Um, so they'll go hopefully elsewhere to find food. I'm sure there are plenty of seeds and bugs out in the fields for them. It's just that the chicken feed was easier to get to, so... Here's hoping this works. Whoa, what is that horrible smell? Oh, I see. The cheese. Well, great, I guess. Now you just need to do one more thing for me. Can you please place this very smelly cheese as bait in the traps? Good, that'll solve the problem for me until my cat returns. Hurry up and save my farm. And that'll give us a shirt. Oh, that's not a bad shirt. I like my shirt better, but that's not bad. Okay. 
Okay, let's get the cheese down. And yes, I do have a um, plushie in my inventory. Once I find a saddlebag I like, then I will attach the saddlebag and um, get the plushie going. It is a Starshine plushie. You get that plushie by um, a coat that's in the very, very end. I'm like way in the back matter of the the recently released English version of uh, Soul Rider's Yorvik Calling, which is the first book of trilogy. So if you guys want that plushie, you if you have the book, that code is good until like December 31st, 2021. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. Because I actually want you guys to read the book. It's an amazing book. It's really good. Um, but that is where you'll find it. Let's talk to Steve. Well done. I hope this will end the mouse invasion and save the farmhouse. I still wonder what's going on underground during the night. That may be the reason for the mouse invasion, but I can't look into that now. I really, really hope that that um, becomes a quest, like looking into what's causing the invasion. So, as you can see, Steve's farm is, um, Steve's race is not yet unlocked. Uh, the way we're gonna do that is... Um, we have to finish the bird feed quest, I believe. I believe in order to unlock, um, Steve's race, we have to finish the bird feed quest, which we would have to spend the night for. Which I have no problem doing at this point because I have star coins to spare right now. Not something I would normally say to do, but it's something that I have. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to fast forward so we can do the rest of the bird feed quest. So I just called for a pickup um, because I can't stay the night at Steve's stable yet. I have to go somewhere else that I've unlocked and that's either Fort Pinta or... Moreland stable and since Moreland's my home stable all I have to do is call for a pickup I don't have to waste star coins on it so in order to spend the night somewhere you speak to um, the person in charge of like the stable's day-to-day -day operations in this case Jenna this cost 75 star coins I have that to spare right now however if you do not have a lot of star coins to spare you may just want to be patient and wait for the next day to come around to do the, the quest. Um, or if you're really, really impatient, make sure you do as many quests as possible first um, to see if there's any other quests that need to wait a day so that you can just do it all at once and then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to waste 75 star points. So let's do that. Let's go back to Steve's farm. So we can talk to Barney at the silo. Alright, so let's go check the silo and uh, see what Barney has to say. And hopefully that's all I need to do um, in order to unlock the race. Because I really would like to end the video with trying out Steve's race. Alright, let's talk to Barney. Hey buddy. Here are the seeds, now take them back to Steve and the birds. Wow, you're super demanding about it. Okay, let's go back to Steve's farm. There we are. Wonderful, my birds can finally eat to their heart's content. Ah, and here we go, Steve's race is now unlocked. Let's feed the birds real quick. Would it be too much to ask you to feed the birds as well? Just put the seeds on the bird feeders and they will flock around you. I think some birds have disappeared from the from the Everwind fields since GED started drilling for oil there, the poor things. Okay, look how happy they are. I must say they make an excellent bird feeder, or you make an excellent bird feeder. Perfect. So I am going to end this video with Steve's race. Check out the really nice writing trail I've put together. Let's do it.
all right perfect all right let's go get our experience from steve that was a great race um it's not too bad there's a few there's only like one mandatory jump that i can think of well maybe a couple because going around would just eat up so much time but well done Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to leave this here for the day, um, and that is all the quests necessary to unlock Steve's race. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, for today's video. Um, if you have, you know, if you want to see more videos like this, then like, comment, and subscribe. If you want notifications about those videos coming out, hit the bell icon down below, and feel free to say hi, either in-game or on uh, my social media, Twitter, or Instagram. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys next time, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!